morning. Today is Tuesday, April 17th. I am Zoe. And I'm Gracie. Our question for today is, what is your WHOOP goal for this quarter? 7th grade Gold Advisors, we will check in with you at the end of the show to get your responses to this question. The East Drama Department is presenting the wondrous and amazing Susical Jr. on Friday evening, April 20th, and Saturday afternoon and evening, April 21st. Tickets are $8 in advance and $9 at the door. You can purchase advance tickets before school in the main office this week. Calling all 6th and 7th graders who would like to sing, select choir auditions for next year will be held before and after school on Wednesday, April 25th and Thursday, April 26th. Details for auditions are outside the choir room by the, on the door. Stop by to pick up a form and sign up for an audition time. Congratulations to the 8th grade 321 team for placing 1st in the state and 10th in the nation. Great job. We hope you choose to participate at the high school. Quiz Bowl will practice after school today in room 200. Core will take place after school on Wednesday in the Media Center. Wishing a fabulous birthday to these students. Even though there's snow on the ground, it's time to get registered for the EMS 5K. The event is only five weeks away, and now is the time to get registered. Let's encourage each other, our teachers, and family members to get started. We have the opportunity to help kids with cancer by supporting Pinky Swear. Here's how to get involved. Pick up a registration brochure in the office, grab one from your advisor, or sign up online at ePay at the EMS website. Uh as you know, we have an advisory contest going on, and the top three advisees will win a party. More information will be coming out soon. Here are our current leaders. In first place is Mr. Williams' advisory, and in second place is Ms. Kress' advisory. Mr. Rice is here to give us um, Mr. Rice is here to give us his words of wisdom on the MCA that started this week. Welcome, Mr. Rice. <laughs> Thanks. Hi students, I got a couple of announcements regarding MCA as I know some of you have started, but um, this is something we want to share with all students. Every year in the state of Minnesota, all students take the MCA test for grades six through eight. These, are, these tests are an important way for students to demonstrate what they have learned during the school year. Families and teachers rely on these tests and the scores that are produced to make decisions about whether or not students are on track to meet their goals. In order to make sure that every student gets a valid test score, all teachers, students, and staff must follow the MCA test directions. Please listen carefully as I can give some more information to share with you about what students need to do during the MCA tests. If you finish the test early, raise your hand and turn your iPad over. Do not do any other activities on your iPad or computer. Do not talk to other students even if they also finish testing. You can read a paper book while you quietly wait for other students to finish. Do your best work to show what you know and what you can do. Follow all of the teacher's directions before, during, and after the test. You will not be allowed to use any electronic devices during the test, other than your iPad or the computer that you're using. Do not accept help finding answers to test questions. Do not give answers to other students, and do not tell others, others what is on the test. If you do not follow directions or behave dishonestly, there will be consequences, such as an invalid test score. We want to thank you for all of this, the teachers and students that are partaking in this for the next month of April. Uh, thank you for listening carefully to this message and for doing your part on making MCA testing successful for you and all the students here at East Middle School. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Mm -hmm. And now for the cotton in the act drawing. Winners have demonstrated respect for self, others, property, and community. Please pick up your prize in the front office after the show. Let's see who the lucky winners will be this week. The sixth grade winner is Landon Cole, who was caught by Mrs. Clinight. Clen Congratulations, Landon. And the seventh grade winner is Risa Bumgarner, caught by Mrs. Geary. Congratulations, Risa. 
the eighth grade winner is Opsa, who was caught by Miss Miseraco. Congratulations, Opsa. So odd, babe. What did the seventh grade gold advisories have to say about what is your root goal for this quarter? Um, Mr. Carr says proficiency on MCAs. Miss Safford says finish the year strong. No missing assignments for quarter four. Miss Kraft says show what I know on the MCA tests. Finish reading three more books. Finish as much homework while at school as I can. Miss Anderson says to do well on the MCA exams, read all required books and to finish the year strong. Miss Eugene says, not skipping track practice, do better in math, be less off task. Mr. DeVoe says, stay in your lane and do well on your MCAs. Miss um, Andrews says, finish the year strong and no missing assignments. That's, That's all, all for now. now. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Jeb Jung, Jom Dossig, Nadik, and a touch of DNA.